Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again today with another action figure toy review for y'all. This time we're taking a look at the DC Universe Classic Series from Wave 6. Uh, continuing off of our Hawkman review that we did earlier, this is Killer Moth. It's from the same set. Uh, you, The Collect and Connect piece in this is for Calibac. So you get this with the other figures and you can build your own Calibac figure. But yeah, Killer Moth is the one we're looking at today, so we're just going to go ahead and tear into this thing and uh, take a look at the figure and then uh, set the uh, collect and connect piece to the side and soon we'll go ahead and build that for y'all and let you see Calabac in the flesh, or plastic as it were, but stick around and we'll tear into Killer Moth. So this is Killer Moth from Wave 6, the Calabac Wave. Nothing special to point out here as far as the packaging goes. It's a traditional DC Universe Classics line. The regular card art, nothing special at all. Should not be surprising to you though if you've seen any of these before. The other figures in the collection for this wave, including the Collect and Connect Calabac So this figure itself, um, it's not really a tremendously popular figure, uh, but it's extremely hard to come by. So if you need it, good luck with it because it's, uh, I guess, one of the more rare ones for some reason. And I have no idea. The only thing really special about it is the fact that it has the uh, torso and head of Calabac. So I guess that's why it's so hard to get. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. Maybe time for me to sharpen my exacto knife. Alright, now that it's plastic is cut, let's see what's in here. Sorry for the glare. The packaged figure and the empty packaging, which is now recycling material. Okay, let's see here. So we have uh, the Calabac Collect and Connect part down here. The figure, he's got a gun, and you got the, the cool sticker that I just tore. That's not a sticker, it's a cardboard cutout, so I don't need it. Pull out Calabac, it's uh, real loose in there, so easy to come out. Very cool looking. And looking at the actual figure, We've got, flipping it over, these cool looking wings and a couple of these uh, clear rubber bandy things. So we're just going to slice them open real quick. And there is a fairly large opening here in the plastic for the wings to go and come out in. So much like the Hawkman figure we reviewed earlier, uh, that's how that comes out. So, legs up a little bit here and get them started pop up in his arms uh, the gun comes out of his hand really easily and we flip this thing over and see if we can't figure out how to get really big wings and I'm actually just pulling on the plastic and it's a uh, split on me so it's gonna make it a little easier I'm 
then just to kind of pull it really hard. There we go. And he comes out. And we'll add these plastic bands into the recycling bin. And now we have the figure itself and the accessories. So he's got a little pistol and the collect and connect piece, which we are going to now put to the side for our Calibac build later. But before we do that, it's really cool looking. So I wanna review this thing pretty quick, but he comes later. So yeah, here is a killer moth. Kind of a cool looking figure now that he's out of the plastic. Uh, but let's go ahead and zoom in on him a little bit and uh, get a closer look and see what we think. Killer moth. Overall, it's a really cool looking sculpt. Uh, it uses kind of the slimmer lined male buck. It's got really bright colors. So this weird stripy thing here. And the purple and the... Uh, green just kind of work really well together and i don't know why but uh it looks really nice uh turning it back to the back you can see the the wings are this weird kind of peach pink color and they are translucent that's kind of cool um he's got a holster here on the side he's got little antenna nice red eyes so yeah, it's a kind of a cool figure. The pistol fits into the pistol holster pretty easily. May have to shove it in there a little bit, but uh, once you get it started, it goes pretty easily. Just get the right angle on it and it fits pretty nicely. So uh, let's take a look at the articulation then. So we have the head swivels all the way around up and down movement is really good. It locks into place really nicely at the top. So very nice. I apologize. I may have a little too much lighting going on today. It's washing this figure out a little bit, but you can kind of see the face there now. Uh, shoulder joint. Really nothing constricting the shoulder at all other than the wings at the back. Standard bicep twist, then elbow joint and wrist joint. Same thing on the other side. So standard articulation that we come to expect. Uh, the ab crunch, let's turn it this way so y'all can see. Works really well with this one. Really nice range of motion there. The waist twist is stiff on this one, but it does work. And I think that's probably because of the belt that he has on there. Uh, standard hip joints, nothing special there. Then the uh, lower thigh joint then the knees and the traditional ankle joint so standard articulation nothing special nothing restricted really other than the waist joint so yeah he's got really good articulation he uh the gun move the arm out of the way fits in the holster really nicely if you go in at an angle fits in his hand really easily and it looks pretty cool there. So, bang, 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 bang. Uh, the wings are not articulated. They don't do anything other than they are there. So, yeah, they don't flap or anything, it doesn't look like. They are molded kind of at an angle. And they are non removable. So, what they are is what they are. So, we're all a. Uh, standard figure but uh, for some reason it, it really works really well and I, I'm actually more impressed with this one than I thought. So 
So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit closer so we can take a little bit of a closer look. Now that we're zoomed in a little bit closer, you can see some of the detail work here. So the, the face is uh, his antenna, nice red eyes, his cool little moth logo on his chest, belt and this cool little hostel, his weird strappy pants, his cool little pistol, and other than that, the main feature is the wings. And again, they don't do a whole lot, but uh, they look kind of cool. So yeah, I'm actually surprised that uh, I like this figure a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I don't know why. I'm not usually an insect fan, but uh, it's a cool looking figure and it uh, really works well, so. That's it for our review for the DC Universe Classics release of Killer Moth. Um, overall, it's a great figure. It's uh, kind of very basic, but for some reason, it just works wonderfully. Uh, this figure surprised me in that I like it as much as I do. Um, there's not really any reason for me to like this figure that much. Um, it's kind of bland, but... It's just crazy enough to kind of strike a chord with me, I guess. But uh, it's a you know a minor villain from the Batman line. Uh, I think he's made some other appearances here, there, and abouts. Nothing special about him, but I'm just really drawn to this one for some reason. So, yeah, go figure. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for watching. Leave us some comments below. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Let your friends know to come out and check out our videos. Uh, stay tuned for all the cool stuff we got coming down the pipe. Until next time, happy hunting.